Okay. Uh, I'll give you a little quick synopsis and get to the questions pretty quick. Uh, but uh, it, uh, since we talked last at the beginning of spring, uh, you know, the things that we were trying to accomplish were no different in that uh, we wanted to be process oriented, not result oriented. Uh, you, you get out there in spring practice sometimes and, and, you, and you win a play because somebody doesn't execute on offense or the quarterback doesn't throw the ball the right place or maybe somebody slips a block and makes a play, but you got mistakes across the board. Everybody thinks, well, we got a play made for minus three yards. Well, to be honest with you, yeah, we did, but we got seven guys not doing the right thing. And so uh, we really tried to emphasize, let's don't be, you know, we, we're not going to be result oriented, we're going to be process oriented, which we've done that. Uh, we, we really emphasized takeaways uh, and have had some big days in practice where we had strips and, and caused some things to, to happen. We, uh, you know, for example, we had uh, uh, the, the touchdown with Trey Williams last, last Saturday. Uh, so we scored on defense and we've done that a couple times in practice, uh, but we still got a long way to go because it's still, there's a little ebb and flow of things. It, it's not constant yet. So we got to stay on that and keep improving that. I think the biggest thing, as you would know, is uh, we had guys who did play last year. They played in a, in a defense who, who had some success, but that was irrelevant. And that's not coach speak. It truly is. I mean, you can't, it has nothing to do with what happened this spring. But uh, I, I will say that experience does matter in, in a lot of things, and it does in football. And so those experienced players like Derek, like Marlon, like Trey Williams, like Trey Matthews, Deshaun Davis, Carlton Davis, uh, Javaris Davis, those guys, uh, Stephen Roberts, you could tell they were comfortable in the system. You could tell they knew what to do. They were problem solvers. Uh, and so we really emphasized getting those guys better. The key to the thing was to try to make sure that we got the younger guys uh, that we needed to you know, find those other 18 to 19 add-ons in terms of starting whatever, having any starters we had coming back to, to get that, that group where we said we feel like we need you know, 18 starters in this league to 18 to 22 uh, with the pace and the wear and tear of it to make it go. And so uh, we've, we've had some improvement by some guys in that area. Uh, we've had some experiments uh, in terms of just moving some guys around. Uh, Denson has played star position. Uh, Javaris Davis has played the star position. Stephen Roberts is, is, is actually, uh, uh, you know, he, he's ready to get a little bit more time in fall camp of that. Uh, we've, uh, Denson's had some safety work. Daniel Thomas has had some safety work. Uh, and so we're, we're kind of moving some guys around in that, in that area. Uh, we have not done that so much with the linebackers simply because the four with with At and, and Trey and and Deshaun uh, and Daryl, I mean those guys were the four we had to play the whole time with last year. So Wooten kind of added to that in the spring, did a good job, but we did not move those guys around. Uh, they just kind of did what they did last year. Uh, the defensive line I, I, is pr stayed pretty constant. Uh, you know, uh, with with Nick Cole being a little bit of a move around guy from Buck to to end. Uh, but not a lot because he's still young. But we've we've kind of cross trained some guys, hopefully, so we can uh, make sure that we don't get in a situation where uh, we don't have the best eleven people on the field. With that, I'll open it up for questions. Well, as you well know, I, being in the league but on defense, I did not know about him because we didn't see him on tape. But obviously, Rodney and Travis said, hey, this guy's got a, a really high skill set, can run, smart guy. But I didn't really know that because he was so limited in his practice uh, uh, until the bowl practice. Then uh, we got him, uh, we got him in, in, in uh, spring, and he, he worked at star and at corner. Uh, he has a very good sp skill set. I, I'd, I'd say probably the thing that is, is – really pleasant is that not that I did not know it I, I had no way of knowing uh, is he truly has the skill set and he has the mental makeup to quarterback a defense he can get you in the right calls he, he's he's a very very intelligent football player well that's a hard question because we've lost, you know, we've had some with some injuries and all that. 
Yeah, you know, I, I think we're we're getting close to the seven eight mark. Uh, and got freshmen coming in, so you know, obviously we had two freshmen that factored into that last year, and Derek and and uh, and Marlon. So uh, you know, we could get to that, and obviously they'll be at different levels. I mean, you know, they're not going to be Marlon, they're not going to be uh, Dontavious, but they can do what they can do well, and we'll we'll call it that way and get some reps, meaningful reps, and, and you know, we're, we're one of those teams. Some people don't. Some people play the whole season with about 12 to 13 guys if they don't have injuries. You know, we play, we're, we play a lot of people. Uh, and I think that comes from the fact that we have to in practice because we go against a no-huddle offense all the time in practice. And, uh, you know, you just you get conditioned to be able to rotate guys. How does Dontavious, you know, progress here through the spring and what have you noticed about him? Well, obviously, he was a very effective player for us last last fall. Um, you can tell he's a year older uh, than he was this time last year, obviously. And I, when I say that, I don't mean in terms of age. I mean in terms of football playing experience. You can tell he's he, he's very comfortable in, in what we're doing and how we're doing it. Uh, he's a very good technician. Uh, he's making more extra effort plays. Uh, and, and so, you know, the things that we, we preach so hard is, is effort, Physicality, tackling first and foremost, and and you know he's kind of he's he's played himself into that. And how has Trey Grant looked at with that week of the bug position? Well, it, he's really practiced really good in terms of practice, and then he would tell you himself he got in the first scrimmage, and of course it's multiple calls, different situations, and you know he he's a perfectionist, he's hard on himself, he's as hard on himself as any coach would ever be, you know, because he is a perfectionist. <laughs> Uh, you know, doesn't want to disappoint his teammates, doesn't want to disappoint his coaches. He's got a certain, he's got a, a soul about him that kind of makes him fun to coach in that way. But he's, that does make it hard when you're growing because he's so hard on himself. And I think he was a little bit hard on himself in terms of that, uh, you know, each play. He, he got to learn to go play the next play. But then he came back this past scrimmage and really had a good scrimmage. So, you know, he's on track. He's got, uh, he, he's got, Something about him. He brings something to the table. That he's a good, good energy guy. He plays hard. He's got. He can set an edge. He's powerful, uh, and, and he's got a little knack for pass rush. How's Nick Ruffin done this spring? Uh, Nick is is doing doing well. I mean, he's he's an older guy. He's been through it. He knows what the drill. Uh, and of course, with he and Stephen and and the three safeties really that we've got going into spring with with uh, Trey. Stephen and him, they've carried the bulk of the load. I mean, he's he's done he's done good things. We each guy's got a list of things they have to improve on. They've got a list of things that we think we, they do well, and he's done a nice job of focusing and trying to improve on that. What did Trey? We haven't heard from the, the freshman quite yet. Uh, have you got in and asked you and, and Boone and just where they how they handle you know now that it's towards the end of spring? It's yeah. Good. Well, they know where the locker room is. They know where the practice field is. They, they're pretty. They're pretty accomplished of getting all their pads on the right way, and and they got that done. I mean, they do that on a regular basis now. Uh, now, they sometimes will occasionally, occasionally, uh, you know, they understand the defense. They're studying it, uh, but sometimes they they put something in the wrong place, and, and it's not because. They're not smart guys. It's not because they're not trying. It's just that it's sometimes it happens a little fast for them, and and so. But they've got a real good skill set, and they have made improvement. What has Greg Brown kind of brought to the table this spring? It's safe to say he walked into a pretty veteran veteran room with him young. Oh, he did. Uh, you know, Greg. Greg's a smart guy. I mean, you don't coach 17 years in the National Football League if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you know, they don't. They like they said, NFL not for long. Well, that includes coaches too. Um, if you stay 17 years in the National Football League, you're obviously intelligent and know what you're doing. You got a lot of ideas, uh, and you're a very good technique coach. Um, and so, uh, I, I think he's really done a good job with the te technical part of it. Uh, schematically, we're not going to change. We do what we do, how we do it. Uh, but he's from that tree too, so there was no learning curve in terms of terminology and all that. Uh, but I think it. I think the players really, when they go in there, and he's he's got tape on Ray Buchanan all the way back. And he, Greg's old enough; he's showing cutups in there sometimes about how to play man. And Jerry Rice is running the route. I says Greg, you're dating yourself big time on that, man. I mean, uh, but 
with the DBs covering him, and, and it's practice tape, and, and so I, those guys really, they like that. Uh, and, uh, and you can see that, that the young guys have gotten better uh, technique-wise, uh, and he really does a good job with that. Well, obviously, if we're taking corners and moving them back there and working them, there's your answer to your question. Has Cam Martin worked at all in the secondary? He mentioned something the other day. No, but be, be fun. I, 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 <laughs> hey, if, don't forget the head coach used to call the plays here. That's on offense. So I don't think we'll be moving Cam Martin to defense uh, anytime soon. Dirty Mike's a guy that his, his teammates have talked about his versatility. He's a guy that can, can play Zippo, can play safety. Dave, what have you seen out of him this week? Well, I, I, he's a fun guy. He comes to practice every day. He gives you everything. He's, guy, he's a tough guy. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to play corner. He knows how to play safety. He knows how to play star. He knows how to play money. Uh, and, and he's a problem solver. Uh, he's going to tell you what to do, even if he doesn't know what to do, so he gets everybody on the same page. And, and that's not a bad thing sometimes. If you get everybody on the same page, at least, at least you can play the down out. You know? And uh, so he's kind of a coach on the field. Uh, and, and it's fun to have a guy where you, that you can just grab him, hey, something happens, somebody tweaks an ankle, somebody does it, hey, dirty, go play this, go play that. Uh, he's kind of a utility guy. Does that make him a valuable guy, though? Sure it does. Sure it does, especially when you have limited travel. You know, I mean, when you get ready, you know, and you're taking – Kickers and punters and snappers and quarterbacks and you know, y'all know this. We've all been on road. Well, I mean, y'all been on road trips and past quarterbacks on the bus. I, mean, I ain't never seen them play. You know, uh, they eat good and sleep well, but they don't play. And uh, you know, so you got to kind of have a guy that can do multiple things. Yeah, I, I really – I mean, I wouldn't have said that last year. I wouldn't have said that at the start of the season. But by the end of the year, did we trust him to be out there on crucial downs? Absolutely. Uh, and, and so then it factors in that you've got to remember that our guys are conditioned, uh, that we don't have 11 starters. I've said it before. Uh, we jokingly say, hey, guys, you're a starter. If we put you in the game and somebody don't say that on the headset, what's he doing out there? And uh, – you know, we, we trust him to go out there in any situation. He earned that trust over time, and by the end of the year, he was in that, in that category. Um, so in regard of starting play in the first play, I don't know that. Uh, that remains to be seen. But do we trust him? Yes.